You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. we're back to your, your favorite podcast. You know what it's called. Ooh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my boy Stevie Weeks. Back, y'all. All right. Stevie Wayne. Stevie. Here on Riffin with Griffin. All right, we did it. And remember, the singing mic's always here, Steve. Remember? Okay, I forgot. Yeah, so anytime you want to. Yeah. Make sure you turn it on. <laughs> I love it. All right. All right. So this is part two. Yeah. Or part three. I don't even know. How what many part times is have this? I been? It's a part. It's at least a part two. Yeah. At least. Yeah. 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 At the minimum, it's part two. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Before we get started, uh, Riffin with Griffin has a, a great sponsor. They just—it's not even a sponsor. They just sent me a box of stuff, and I want to give one to Steve. Oh, thank you. But last week, uh, oh, can I read the letter? Two episodes ago, this ain't this is for me. <laughs> but I want to read it. All right, that's a letter I got right. from the company Booty Wipes. Dear Mister Eric Griffin, hope you enjoy these booty wipes <laughs> and that they make your upcoming travels smoother. <laughs> we can't wait to catch the next episodes of your awesome podcast. <gasps> woo woo woo! The boo, booty. Woo, woo. The booty wipes family. <laughs> the boo woo woo the wipes. <laughs> so anyway, Thank I'm giving you, Stevie Weeby a box of booty wipes from the company you know, Booty Wipes. I I love clean, Steve. I will because I buy um baby wipes at Ralph's. Yeah. Oh, you um, can't do that. Well, I buy these baby wipes because I like the. There's a certain kind that has a cucumber smell. Oh God. It kind of smells like. So Al- your booty smells like a cucumber salad? Like Yeah, <laughs> like aloe vera cucumber. But thank you. Is there a smell to these as well? No, I don't think so. They just have like a, you know, but I wouldn't know because I'm not, you know, smelling my own booty. So when you, after you go poo. Yeah. Um. So you do, you just. Yeah. You can use it for your hands. Because I, your- I need two. Because <laughs> what I do. Okay, so hold up. Listen, listen. Can we talk about this? I guess so. So after I go poo. Uh-huh, poo. Um, I take one wipe mm-hmm. and I do the first, um, <laughs> I do the first you do wipe. A, you do a, a first pass. Yeah. To get, to get the majority, <laughs> to get the majority okay. of the poo. Uh-huh. And then, and is, is this right or wrong? So I, I'll wipe uh-huh. and then I'll look at it. Well, you have to look. You want to make sure that you're like not something like if it's purple or something yeah. like that, you want to make sure you're okay. So there's like, I'll see. Okay. There's like. Most of the poo is on the, <laughs> and but then and then I'll throw it in the toilet, uh-huh. and then I'll grab another wipe. Right, right. You gotta get it, and then because just, if there's that much on the first one, yeah, did I get it all? <laughs> so it's like if you if you're relaying it to like a car wash, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically you you do the first rinse, the rinse, and then you have the to soap like, it up, then you wax it. Right. Yeah. So sorry for getting <laughs> into detail about pooing. But, uh, well, that's uh, Stevie Weeby, everybody, with yeah, uh, proper so, booty etiquette. So, can I do a commercial? Proper booty technique. So, well, my, I mean, they're not paying me for a commercial, so okay, if you want to, they well, just sent me a box of booty wipes. Right. Well, I'll use. If them. you want a commercial, you know, you got to. No, 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 no. No, it's okay. So, th- yeah. thanks for sending yeah, my the, buddy. Uh, the, the commercial will be like, we'll have the booty wipes like right, this. Right. There you go. Product placement. Yeah, product placement. Yeah. But anyway, Steve, Steve Lee's here, everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me the the wonderful Steve, Steve Lee. Stephen Lee. Oh God, I didn't it know you're so it grown up now. Yeah. Uh, no one, no, no one, one cares. I know calls you Stephen. Your but, brother doesn't call you Stephen. But that's my. No one calls you Stephen. But that's my. Formal, that's your government name. That's my government name. Okay, Stephen yeah. Lee. Stephen Lee is here. Stephen Lee. So Stephen St- Park Lee. St- Park. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Park. Well, I brought you here, Steve, uh, mm-hmm. because you know we. I wanted to talk about the Fantastic Joker movie and the Loved ba- it. And, and the Batman universe, right? What did yeah. you think of the What did you think of the new Joker? And, First of uh, all, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, my man Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, you know him? No, but okay. I wish I did. Oh. Um, he seems weird, though, right? You know what? That's why I like him. I wanted to before I kind of analyze and break down the the J- Joker. Uh huh. 
I just realized the other night because I was laying in bed thinking about him. Okay, that's... <laughs> no, his performances. Okay. <laughs> so you're laying in bed. No, no, because I just... You have your favorite lotion. What else happened? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not like... Hey, it's the same way I used to think about Eric Stoltz and his performances. Okay. Great actor. A Pulp Fiction poster. I appreciate right here, great acting, okay. great performances, great... I look at it as art, like an art form. Right. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, he's always fantastic. You know what I'm saying? But... Joaquin Phoenix, I I put in that same category. There's certain actors that I put on a higher tier, right? Like when Daniel Day Lewis did Li- Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, have you seen that? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's there's that one scene you, where he's like sitting in a, 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 at a table. Yeah, and then and he, he's giving a yeah, speech. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember watching it, going, "Oh, that, I've seen that about a hundred times." I was like, "That won the Oscar right there." That yeah. that scene. <laughs> it's when an actor actually transforms transforms uh-huh. into that person. Yeah, because you know anyone. I mean, not anyone, because it's a hard. It's it's a it's a thing you have to learn to do. I mean, maybe you could be born with it, but there's certain actors where they they're just on that tier. Yeah. So you think that uh, Joaquin Phoenix got to that yeah. tier in the Joker? Yeah. Um, he, you know what I realized when I was thinking about like him and his performances? Uh-huh. I was like, you know what? He could do anything, and I'll definitely tune in and like watch. Yeah, give it a check out, yeah. I could just watch him, like whatever he, remember he did that documentary, I'm Still oh, Here? Oh, the, 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 yeah, the, yeah, mo- the, the spoof, yeah, the spoof about, like document. how he yeah, quits, yeah. At, he, yeah. Yeah, he d- pursues... Uh, yeah, that the, was the strange. The rap thing. That was strange. But um, like even it could be anything, and I'm like, okay, I'm tuned into anything he does. Well, I only when I think of him, I always think of um, uh, what's the one? Not Braveheart. Um, the the Roman the Roman one, you know. Oh, gladi- not, Gla- gladiator. gladiator. Yeah, he was good in that. I always think of Gladiator when yeah. I think of him, but I don't think of too much more than that. You well, know, the master. Yeah, I but see, I only saw. Oh, that. and her. I, 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 her was good. I didn't. Dude. I only saw it like briefly, like on a plane. Dude, that was a good movie. Yeah, but yeah. I, but again, it didn't like it wasn't like a masterpiece. You right, know, right. You know? But I think Joker. It it's up there for me, and I'll tell you the reasons why. In comparison to what? In comparison to like of your favorite movies of all yeah, time. Yeah, in comparison, because I'm gonna give you context of of, of why I think it, it it holds up because. First of all, it's Taxi Driver. It was real. It reminded me of like, oh damn, because it took yeah, old school Taxi Driver and the King of Comedy, Mm -hmm. Robert De Niro. And it's ironic how Robert De Niro is, you know, he's a talk show host as well. So that was kind of that was a cool little you know link homage. Yeah, yeah. So um, not only that is just, and then just the way he dedicated himself to the role, like he actually lost weight. So whenever, like, um, yeah, whenever someone words. like actually yeah, physically Joe- transforms, like, uh, like, uh, Christian Bale and the Machinist, mm-hmm. something like that, mm-hmm. or like anything that Daniel Day Lewis does, you know, it I'm doesn't like, always okay. work though. Jared Leto gained a lot of weight for a role, and that movie was terrible. What are you talking about? Which yeah, one is yeah, that? Yeah, it was. Oh God, I don't even remember what the name of the movie was. I'm just saying it doesn't always. Just because you physically do something, that I think that's great. It shows the commitment. Yeah, but it doesn't mean the performance is going to be fantastic the way this one was. Yeah, Christian Bale does that as well. Yeah, Chris Bale's done that yeah. as well. But yeah, I like that, and I just loved his acting in it. Yeah, I thought that he made some choices that were just kind of like out of the box. Like, yeah. well, that was interesting. It was unco- I, did, I, I uh, like just the, just like the way his um, posture was yeah, during yeah, certain yeah, yeah. scenes. Like, remember, like yeah, that he was, he was standing in the weird. clown locker room, yeah. and like he's like hunched over, and you could see the ribs. And yeah, he, yeah. It just and just his dancing and everything too. Yeah, I thought the movie was uh, the laugh. I'm sorry, I didn't want to cut you off, but his choice of his laugh, mm-hmm. and I liked how it was like a medical condition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think? I mean, well, the, I mean, the you know they they obviously played with the lore of Batman. You know they they played with like the origin story. I don't even know if this was an official origin story, like you know because like you know in the it, there's a version in the in the comics where you know the Joker his character falls into a vat of chemicals and that's what makes him into the Joker. Right, you know I mean? right, right. But this right. was more of a like this is a you know a Transfer- medical condition yeah. a psychological thing and yeah, he kind of like delved it. deep and, and turned into this monster, you I know? loved it. But I thought the movie was disturbing from the jump. 
Like the opening oh, yeah. scene was like he's just looking in the mirror, and I felt like they stayed at that scene like a little bit too long. Right, on, right, right, on right. On purpose. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. just like, what's he doing? Like he was so weird, like you know, doing this. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? yeah. And I was like, what are they doing? You know? It and, was kind of like you know, I loved it because it was like anyone could relate to like a tortured soul. At yeah. least I can. Not only the a tortured soul, but like being the outcast, alienated. Yeah, from yeah, every, yeah. Like a person who doesn't know how to fit in with society. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I love it. Yeah. As an outlier yourself, yeah. huh? I think the incel community, like. Oh, really... stop. Would you stop it with okay. that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but let me just. I think that they. <laughs> so the Joker's an incel? That's what you're saying? No, no, no. I'm, no. No. Let me just. Let me just finish my thought. I'm not going to talk about the incel community because we did that last time. But I think that incels can really relate to that character because of just the alienation and being an outcast. Okay, well, th- I didn't know that you were the incel spokesman. I am. I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually not. And people have DM me like, you don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh yeah, they, they, every what you, comment and, is about that. Or they send me. They also send me links to like, like, like what I need to check out. <laughs> do you do do you get those? Like, yeah, because hey they, man, I get I them because they're I, talking about you on the thing. They're hey like, man, Please I just Steve. wanted to let you know I was really offended. You know, if you decide to talk about this topic, make sure you know. And then, you know what you're talking look, about. Look, yeah, they really This going is in just you. you know, we're just talking. I don't really yeah. you know. Well, the, I, I just I don't know much about anything. I just I don't normally trying to get through the day. You know. I mean, I don't normally like a lot, like a lot of movies <sighs> recently, but I really did enjoy this one. And then, like you, you, you use this word far too often when you go see a movie. But every time you leave a movie you like, you're like, it was a masterpiece. <laughs> you say that a lot. Like you say that a lot about shit movies. Do I really? Okay, yes, though? you do. No, no, no. But, let's talk. No, no. Let's talk but, about that. Do I really? Yes, you do. I, you say in my, this, hold up. In my defense, all I, the time, I Steve. may have said it like three times. Yeah, exactly. Two That's too three. many times. Every movie can't be a masterpiece. But you know what? Do you remember what movies yeah, I, I, I was, was referring that, to? Yeah, that stupid witch you said was a masterpiece that you couldn't even... I'm so you glad even, you brought that You up. couldn't even hear you, the fucking movie. You know why? You know, you, you needed I subtitles. I wanted to give Ro- Ro- Roger Eggers... He, he has a new movie coming out called The Lighthouse. I think it's out this week. Oh, we should go see That's it. That's his second... There That'll be the go. one we'll see, talk see, about next. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. We're going to go I see like that, that one and we'll talk about it. So let's not even go but any further. But hold up. But you, The Witch, people. It wasn't you know a what? masterpiece. It was good, though. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I like this. I like the symbolism in it. Okay. Okay. It, it like, was good, Steve. I like the. It, it was, was good. It was, it was uh, like. Um, it was a good movie. It was not a masterpiece. It was solid. Okay. Oh, again, solid. Can I good. say solid? <laughs> yes. Okay. So what. Mo- Pulp Fiction is a masterpiece. Yes. Can I say that? Yeah, I agree. Will, will you agree that Pulp Fiction... Godfather is a masterpiece, you know? Goodfellas. Maybe. What? Yeah, I thought it was good, you know what I mean? Would you say No Country for Old Men is a masterpiece? I don't remember it. Have, when's the last time you saw that movie? I haven't seen that one in a while. That's a, I'm, it's you know what there. we'll do, Steve? We'll have our masterpiece list. That's what we'll do for our next version. I need at least a month yeah. to think about okay, it. Okay, then that's what we'll do. I we're don't want to go, just think listen, about we're gonna it go, night, We're going to go watch like the new movie. different movies. That'll be our movie okay, review. Okay, hold up. The Shining. Is that a masterpiece? Haven't seen it in a long Dude, time, Stanley but it probably Cooper. is, you know? All right. You know? Okay. Let's get back to the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, lo- I loved it. Yeah. Well, I thought it was a masterpiece. This is the first time I'll say it. I thought it was a masterpiece because of all the different elements it was good or great in many different elements of a movie. So, like, um, cinematography. I mean, the cinematography was just, it was just majestic. I you know, know what I mean? Loved it. Like, everything when he's dancing, uh, the, the city, yeah. the city things. Even when he was laying on the ground after he got beat up, that shot that they chose. I mean, just, it was such great cinematography yeah, in no, the movie. Yeah, no, I like, agree. I can't dispute that. Uh, and then the next part uh, I thought was uh, the, the acting. I thought the acting was great. So on, that dude. was like, it was just above average. I mean, like, was he committed or was he committed? His commitment, just his performance. Come on, dude. His performance was great. Come and, then, and then you have the directing. Does he deserve at least an Oscar nomination? Well, he probably will get an Oscar nomination. I'm not sure if that's like, you know, I don't know who decides that stuff. But, you know, we live in weird times right now. We're yeah, violent. He, I think, and, yeah, I think uh, he know. deserves it. Yeah, well, I think Come he on, will dude. get that. But I think that the movie itself deserves a nod in one of these areas. You, know? you didn't bring up, this is why I like the movie. Yeah. 
Well, I wasn't finished talking about why I like it. Okay, but you well, you no, no, you no, can, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> I want to get along with you that's, today. That's, you get along with me no, all no, the I time. No, 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 no. Go ahead. You but can, this is your favorite thing to do. Is is is, is cut know, off Steve. <laughs> I know. And let me, in my defense, and you know what? I'm not gonna. I just realized that uh-huh. when I talk, it's louder than I really want to talk. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk like this now. I don't like the sound of my own voice. Well, that's why when I was talking about this earlier, like the echo, like yeah, I I when I'd rather hear me like right now opposed to when it gets to the editing program. Right, right. And I know I'm going off topic, <laughs> but I can't even listen to my own podcast really? when I'm yeah when I'm editing myself. I'm like, okay, enough of me, enough <laughs> of me. I can't hear me for more than ten seconds. I'm what? like, okay, let's just. But you got to listen to it to figure it out, man. Yeah, but that's just my own thing. I but going to. back to the Joker, okay? Uh-huh. I went back. I came back. Um, He's back, y'all. I loved... Listen. And Tarantino does this the correct way. I'm going to talk about violence. Mm-hmm. The violent scenes. Okay. Dude, I love the vi- the way... I thought it wasn't gratuitous. I agree. You know what I mean? It was just enough, you know? I like that. It I was liked, jarring. It was jarring. I liked... It was believable to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but... At this it, point, it, fuck them. You should have but, seen but it But, like, the subway, the subway scene, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the businessman, the, the account, whatever those yeah, dudes, yeah. The, the yuppie dudes, yeah. like, messing with them. I like the way he fought, the way he battled back and, like, yeah. shot, you know, like, like, the way he killed those guys. And even in his apartment, the way... Remember the little guy came in and oh that was that was brutal yeah, though. That, but no, at that I, point he'd already crossed he'd I already know, crossed but, over to like who he was po- gonna be. My point being the way they went about it was freaking awesome. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I thought that I the, loved it. I thought that like but before I saw it, you 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 heard you know stories about like oh the violence and too much. And when I saw it, I was like oh, I don't think it was too much. Dude, I thought it was just. Are like, you talking about critics? Yeah, I thought it, I don't listen to critics. I thought it was just um, what do you call it? Um, it was just enough. I don't think it was gratuitous, you know. So yeah. that goes to like the you said directing. that word twice now. Yeah. What is gratuitous? Gratuitous. When mean? it's just too much, you know. When it's that's like, a definition. Yeah, yeah. That's the Webster's you, dictionary. I don't know if it's the Webster's dex. Di- you know, gratuitous. Yeah, it just means. But that's you. Going to the, we're going to the yeah, iPad. Just look it up. Because yeah, you said that twice now. Yeah, but that's what it means when it's just like overly, overly done. Because, because the, because it could be. Seen in this way because gratuitous it, it, it sounds a lot with the G R A T right gratitude yeah but it's not that I know <laughs> I'm just like I don't know because like you're confusing me when you first said gratuitous I'm like okay he's like given he's or done it up free a of charge okay uh, uncalled for lacking good reason or unwarranted okay unwarranted yeah fair enough. So that's you know it okay. just it, so in that in that case like you know he but again like it's weird like he he what I liked about that scene like in the subway was like he shouldn't have had that gun you know you don't have a gun with you because then if you have the but gun but his homie gave him you the have gun. to I but know his but gave him the gun. I know but if you the, have the, the gun clown, clown you, if you room. have to gun you have to use it <laughs> you yeah. know or you don't necessarily technically have to it's in just that, in that situation you know, he needed to use it he just it was the only thing he could you know right okay okay you're talking about that particular scenario i'm talking about that scenario okay no i agree yeah and that scenario was like, i'm saying like on general terms you could just have it just to to ease your mind the same way I'm, you know a, a person carries a pocket knife yeah but if you have like a, when's a, who really uses a pocket knife i know in but any it, scenario i know but steve if you have a pocket knife and then for some reason three people attack you you're now you're now obligated to use that pocket knife, and then you're going to use it like if you're not a professional pocket knife user, if you're not Rambo, all of yeah, a sudden yeah, 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 you're yeah, stabbing yeah, yeah, yeah. and you, you're taking some. No, 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 that's not a good example because says Rambo, which is a damn good movie. First Blood was one of my favorites. First Blood. Have well, you seen the new Rambo? No, but I'm going to. You have to go see the new Rambo. I actually really enjoyed the new. Okay, Rambo. Okay, so and shout out to mo- Sylvester Stallone. And by the way, gratuitous violence. <laughs> Unwarranted. Unwarranted. Okay, violence. so um, okay, so you're, we're talking about knives now. That's not a good comparison because um, John Rambo in First Blood. I'm talking about First Blood, the very first one, had a survival knife. Yeah, that's different than a pocket knife. No, no, no. Steve, a survival you're not, you're knife not, has a compass on no, it. No, no, you're not understanding, it's, uh, Steve. You're not understanding. If you, you have any knife with you, okay, so if you have any weapon with you. 
I thought you're specifically no, talking if you have about any weapon a with pocket you, knife. If you have any weapon with you and you are attacked, yeah. you're obligated to use that weapon. Of course. And if you're not able to use that weapon, you might cause some. And people would say that person deserves it. So there's people that would say that someone deserves it. Like, like so when wait, the wait, mo- wait, what are you referring to now? Deserves what? Are you talking about that a scenario a scenario where you're getting jumped? Yeah. Of course. Okay, so what I'm saying is this. So if like three guys Steve, jump Steve, you, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry to cut you off. Sorry to cut. I'm chilling. Let's go back and forth, man. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. All right. If you have a knife, okay. You've decided to carry a knife. Mm-hmm. If you are attacked by people, there are some that would say those people getting attacked, the people attacking deserve what they get. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is if you have that knife, you now know that you're going to attack back, in some cases, with lethal force. All right? Okay, so there's that. In the movie, the guy had a gun, and he was being attacked by these three guys. When he pulls for the gun and kills, you know, he kills the first guy who was attacking him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Did that guy deserve that? Can I speak now? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You just go on these things and you don't listen and then you like, you know, I I, I want you to hear me and I want to hear you. Go. Let me just take a deep breath. Stevie Weeby. <laughs> the first man that attacked Joaquin mm-hmm. on the subway deserved it. He deserved to die. Well, he deserved he some de- kind he, of re- He deserved to die? Not die, but at least he deserved. Okay, well, this is my point. Steve. There are repercussions. Okay, all right. And the repercussions were he died. I know, but I was going to go on to this second and third guy. I don't think he needed to. Oh, it was a bit excessive. At that point. Okay, so this, this, okay, this is my whole point, I'm gonna Steve. Quit, I, That's my it's whole your turn po- now. No, no. My whole point is if you have a gun, he killed that first guy. Okay? Yes. And you have to say to yourself, do you think he deserved to die? He didn't necessarily... That's what happened. He died. Right. But he didn't necessarily deserve to die. And that's my point is what I'm saying is that's why if you're going to carry a gun, you have to know that you might kill someone deserving or not. Bad person or not, you have a gun, you're going to end up doing, and that's what he did. I have no argument against that. Yeah. But but I agree. The second guy, it was like, okay, now he was doing it because, shit, I killed this guy. I got to fucking kill these guys too. The second, I, the second guy was like, I got to kill this guy because he's too close to me and whatnot. Yeah. That third guy was, that's cold-blooded murder. <laughs> okay, so because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to talk about levels, the third guy. Right? Yeah, there's levels. So the, yeah. the third guy, he could have just let him go to a different car or whatever in the sub. Like he could have, you know, but, le- like he could have at least shot him in the kneecap. But what was great about the movie, it's because he shot all three of those guys that when the, the, the little dwarf guy, you really thought he was going to kill him. Like, I wasn't sure if he was going to let him go or not. That was probably my f- favorite scene in the movie. I, I, it that was... one particular scene. Now, did you laugh? I laughed on the inside. I didn't laugh when the dwarf couldn't reach the chain. Yeah. I was terrified. <laughs> I The reason you know I mean? being is because I'm more self-aware in the movie theater now. Oh. Because of my incident watching The Master with my brother. Right, right, right. So now you're I, like... Now I'm a little bit more, like, aware of, you know... But people laugh during that scene. Yeah, but, you know, that was a crazy, you know... But I thought that was a, such a well-done scene. I loved it. Yeah, you know, it was just a well I loved, done. I loved the choices that yeah, were made, yeah. and I loved the way he let him go. Yeah. I loved it. But there was a moment I, I was it. like, would he really let him go? You know, I don't know. You know, it just, that's it a tough just was, question. I know it was just so, but, but that's, that's what made why, the movie great. But, but that, exactly. That's yeah. why we love Joker yeah. because you don't know what he's, this guy's, you don't, he's so, so, um, well, let's talk more about what we like about the movie, but keep going. Um, 
But hold up, before I forget, what's the word I'm looking for? The adjective. He's so unpredictable. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry. I wanted to at least get that. Yeah, no, he He's was. A, he was unpredictable. He very well. Yeah. In a yes and no, you know, he was unpredictable. You know, because he, you know, you didn't. You, yeah, you're right. It, it, there, there was just so many great things, like you know, the fact that he was like hallucinating about this mm-hmm, neighbor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, that was an element where I was like, oh shit. Okay, you know, I'm, wasn't that crazy? I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah. Because, okay, so I brought up Taxi Driver. Mm -hmm. I also brought up King of Comedy. Uh But then the third one I wanted to bring up, and this is all going to relay back into Joker, Uh is Fight Club. That reminded yeah, me of Fight Club, yeah, man. Yeah, it did remind me of Fight Club. So it those was are, very Fight Club-y. Those, yeah, because those, those are the three different <laughs> yeah, kind of Which was also a very great movie. Well, those are great reference yeah, points. Yeah. Great reference points. Yeah, so there was a little Fight Club going on. you know. Meant, and then like the real, I think that they, I don't know, I don't have a mental illness. I, I know people that have mental illness. No, you're far from it. You know what I mean? So I know people, but I don't know if did they do mental illness justice. You know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, I mean, because, like, what movie gets that in depth as far as, I mean, there's, like, Bob even said, char- there's, like, character study. It really was. I mean, was. this was a character study. He really got in, he went, dove in deep. Yeah. And you know the dude studied the shit. Well, to find out, like, in, and it also had some serial killer elements. because oh, what Because yeah. what they talk about with serial killers is they all hate their mother. Like this is like a thing about serial killers, man. Is that true? Yeah, they have a, this. Uh, where are you getting these? Where are you, oh, what? dude! Well, after, since all those fucking shows came out, you know, you just get you go deep dives like, like on the internet. Yeah, and all stuff? those stuff. There, that's one of the telltales about a serial killer is they hate their mother. You know. Let's let's relay it to Joker. Yeah. At the beginning of the mo- movie. He didn't have he didn't have disdain for his mother. He actually loved thought, her. It's not until I thought he did. I thought he. I didn't. I'm not saying he hated his mother, but he definitely was like Ugh, about his mother. You know. Right. I think it wasn't until he found out with the Waynes. Yeah. That that the the truth about like that situation as far as oh like, yeah and then, and then the relations then he with, went on his own deep dive and found and out then things I about think that's when the resentment really kicked in yeah but it wasn't like, even it wasn't even her fault turns out she had a mental illness you know what I mean I know yeah so and okay the most disturbing I'm sorry for to yeah go ahead the most disturbing scene was when he uh you could just say it it's spoiler alert guys it's a fucking at this point he uh Suffo- he smothered, he suffocated smothered, his own mother. Yeah, he suffocated his mother. But that, that was the most disturbing to me. But at that point, he was like, he realized, he saw the file and everything that happened to him as a kid. And I think he was like, damn, is this why I'm fucked up? And then mm-hmm. he just like, you know, that, yeah. was, that was the end of that. So yeah. I'm saying all those different elements, the character study of it mm-hmm. makes it, that that was a masterpiece of, of, of filmmaking too. Just mm-hmm. watching this guy go from like a weird guy to tipping over to being a psychopath. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like, he didn't have to be a psychopath. You know what I mean? And he just, like, went with it. Um, I loved the makeup. I loved... Uh, oh, yeah. I loved how he looked. I loved how he walked. I love like, you know, that stuff. Yeah. I, I liked the environment he oh, was in. Oh, dude. Everything about it. Yeah. Um, now, I, I'm getting this. I'm getting questions about this. Mm-hmm. Is his performance opposed to Heath Ledger's performance? Uh, uh-huh. And I don't think it's a fair comparison because... They're two different approaches. Um, I totally agree with you. I was gonna I, get. I was gonna get into this oh, later. Okay, okay, okay. But we can we can just talk about it now because, like you know, that's the two uh, most. Um, uh, those are the two. You know what I mean? Like, um, distinct Joker performances, right? Yeah. But here's the thing: I'll say in in favor of Heath Ledger. It was PG thirteen. Oh, I forgot about that. I you know, it was R, yeah. It's a PG thirteen movie, so he had to. There's just so much he could do mm-hmm. that he 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 was right there on the edge of being just like you know his. He was so committed in the performance. Dude, was so that like, performance you know, is so kick ass. I would have loved to have seen him do rated R, and then no maybe, doubt. You know, you know no, what I mean? I'm glad you brought that up, but like, I look at both performances. I put them in the same regard. I put them in the same. I agree. Yeah, with they're you. both. Freaking yeah, th- awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't I, want to compare the two. Yeah, I think, they, I, think they, I think they were both phenomenal yeah, performances. Both phenomenal. Right? Yeah. But like um, but like you say though, you know, when you people are comparing them, and I just think that you have to take into account 
I think the rated R PG thirteen thing. You, you, I think you really do have to take that into an account. Of course, you, you that because there's certain things you can show during one. The other one will obviously you could show more violence. And, yes, and and the dialogue will be a little bit more extreme. Or yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I to, I totally agree with you. I'm trying to like, I don't know why this is doing this like this. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure my. So I didn't here. and I didn't realize. I know you like you kind of like told me that we were gonna do. I did. Th- th- this is a lot about. So these are gonna be movie reviews. Well, not no, not necessarily. Okay, we're, we're okay, just, okay, We're talking okay. about it's, no, because I sense, wanted to. We're talking about the if movie. If you wanted to talk about other things, I could talk about. Other no, no, things no, we as will. Well. I wanted to talk mm-hmm. about like like we were gonna get into this anyway. I just wanted to. I just wanted to finish talking about this particular of Joker course. movie. Yeah, it deserves so I think we both liked it. I thought it was a great acting, mm-hmm. great cinematography, great story, great directing. Mm-hmm. But there are, I do have some problems with it though. But there's there's slight. Really? Yeah. My first problem. I only have one, but you say I have two. Okay. My first problem is that he was trying to take that they were trying to say that that situation that happened on the subway sparked this like citywide, you know, the rich versus poor. The anarchy. The anarchy was mm-hmm. started from that. And I, I I wanted to see him revel in that a little more. I don't think that he really like it, it, they tried to make reference to it towards the end that he was like, "Oh, this is all because of me," you know what I mean? Right. But right. I, I, I need, I wanted to see that more, make reference more to that, uh, develop towards, more, yeah, past develop that. in the middle yeah. of the movie, you know. So I, that's my one problem it's I had there. It's kind of like seeing, like, I'll give you an example, like David Koresh or something, any cult leader or something that people follow. Yeah. It's kind of like showing the scene before they like move to the like create their own community and yeah, and all or, that, or and, just even expressing how bad the city would really was that that this was happening. Like the, like, like I well, one of the other things I really liked is that they made Bruce Wayne's father a dickhead. Okay, yeah, that was a new twist. I liked that. Right, I was like, right, I liked right, that. Right, 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 right. You know what right, I mean? Right, I like. I was like, oh, this is great because they always portray him as like some the great guy, the savior of the. Right, you know, right. Of no, the he's city. just a rich dickhead, and he's like not taking care of the city. Yeah. So I, I, I like that. that. I love the scene, by the way, when uh, Joaquin visits their estate. Okay, that's my second problem. Oh, you didn't like it? No, because Batman in this movie, Bruce Wayne, yeah, is like ten years old. Okay, Joaquin <sighs> Phoenix is like forty. Okay. Uh, by the time Batman becomes right. Batman, Joaquin will be seventy five years old, and it's not you gonna be what? it's not gonna be old Joker, Grandpa Joker. Right. So right. that's the only thing I couldn't get past, and I know the reason why they did that. I'm is, only implying that I like the interaction. No, but no, no, I didn't, I get I mean, it. You're getting technical now, yeah. as far as he was like too that. young. He was yeah, too old. Okay, okay, I could see why yeah, you Joker. Like it Joker then. was all too right. old. You know, I they, just like the interaction. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It, all that was fine, but he's too yeah. old. Okay. Like if he would have. Um, like if if Batman if Bruce Wayne had been in like in college, it make more sense. Make more sense, but like, they wanted to show the the the, the, the origins of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, wanted yeah, to show yeah, that yeah, as yeah, making yeah, it yeah. about that. So I get that. But Ooh, this is that's just, a tough decision to make. As but a this direct, is just yeah. a one off movie, though. It's a yeah, one off. So then it, it can't be a sequel because it would no. it would be ridiculous. I mean, imagine how much effort that took to do that kind of acting. And, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean you know. Well, look, I think that the the Batman, the the Heath Ledger, you know, he was before he died, wasn't he saying that like it would took a toll on him to be? Oh the yeah, Joker? It probably haunted him. Yeah, right? so yeah. you know, I don't know. I just don't think acting is like a natural thing. That's why you see a lot of actors with like some yeah, issues because like it's have like, to tap into something. You else. tapping yeah, into yeah, shit. Yeah, that, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah, and he yeah, really yeah. tapped into something it's on crazy. this. But I find him to be a weird guy anyway. Anytime you see Joaquin Phoenix on interviews and stuff, he doesn't come across like a dude that you're just like just a chill dude. Hey, I'm chill. I'm Joaquin Phoenix. But that's Phoenix. why that's why he intrigues me so much. Right, right, right. Because he's such he's weird like that. Yeah, I, I'm. I like because well, I'm weird too. Yeah, you're a weird dude. I like weird people. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. He's a weird dude. All right, so we talked about the Joker. So yeah, I wanted to yeah. just talk about like other Batman and Joker performances you know, that I you wanted, think that you want to compare. I, I haven't compare. seen those in a while. The the only ones are the Nolan one. Like I haven't like I forgot like the, that Michael Keaton was involved and yeah, so Danny I, DeVito was like the pink. You know, like that was so long. I was, those were so campy. Yeah, well, I'm so far removed from those. Yeah. Like because like I haven't seen those in yeah, freaking but you brought decades. Up, you brought up Taxi Driver. Yeah, you brought up- I mean I could. <laughs> <laughs> talk about the Nolan, like the Nolan ones are the only ones I'm like, I like a whole close to me. Well, if I think back to Jack Nicholson as the Joker, that was probably the third best Joker, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen that in so yeah. long. So. It was, it, but he, again, but the only thing about that one is he was old in that. 
Right. Jack Nicholson was an older guy, so like that worked there. Great actor, by the way. But yeah, like, great. but uh, what you call it? Um, um, Michael Keaton was also like a certain yeah. age in that movie too. So I don't know. I mean, I I never liked Michael Keaton as Batman. You know what? But I, I like Michael Keaton it. as I like Michael Keaton as an actor. Yeah, I did too. But I like But dude. that was like close after Beetlejuice. So for me, I was like Batman. Bat, right. Beetlejuice can't be Batman. That's right, the only right, thing right, I couldn't right. get past. Yeah, that's tough. But there's a lot of people that loved that Batman. They love him as Batman. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you got, uh, so you got Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. Then there was uh, who else was Batman? George Clooney. I forgot George. Those Clooney. were the terrible ones. Oh, Those were terrible. Yeah. Then there was a uh, what's the one guy? He was in uh, Top Gun. Um, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. I actually liked Val Kilmer's Batman. But just that one was weird because that was the one with uh, Jim Carrey as the jo- as the, the, Riddler. Uh, the Riddler, which was a good Riddler. But the movies were so campy. I would like Batman Begins is the first time that superhero. The mo- Nolan changed the landscape of superhero. Oh, movies. dude, I love every single one of those. You know, he changed. I, I could watch you those. Liked the Bane one that was so stupid. What? Oh yeah, dude. Let's go. We have to. We're gonna go into this now. That was well, hold just up. before ridiculous. I lose my train of thought because I'm thinking <laughs> when you said uh, Jim Carrey, mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know why I thought of this, but I'm like, dude, I bet you Jim Carrey could pull off the Joker as well. Now, probably. Yeah, dude. How sick and, yeah. would that be? What if that's the role that like people take now to like win an Oscar? You have to be the Joker. <laughs> hey, that's a tough. <sighs> yeah. Task at hand. Yeah. But I think Jim could do it. Yeah, I think you could. But it was like so you had him. Well, I, I just think though I wish that those particular actors were in this new realm of superhero movies. By the way, just real quick, yeah. what do you think about Martin Scorsese trashing like the Avengers movies and like superhero movies? How he's saying that they're not real movies. That's not real. Like, what did he say? I mean, let me let, let's go to the well, let's go to the iPad and find out what exactly what he said. What do you think of that? Well, I think I I don't know. I'm not familiar with the the specific article you're talking about, but um, I think that um, speaking generally about Martin Scorsese, because I respect him as a director so much that I think that he has a right to state his opinion on whatever as as far as cinema is concerned. Yeah, but like he said, well, that's such a specific thing to say about a specific genre of movie. But I, I, I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I, I'm not too much invested in stuff like that, because I don't care what anyone says, even if you're like, you know, like the bet the top notch director or whatever. I'll, I'm still gonna watch the movie. You know what I'm saying? I'm. St- I don't. That's why I try not to look. Well, he at- clarified his statement. You know. Yeah. Go ahead. Because he this. said like his his this this the clarification statement was. What has to be protected is the singular experience of exp- of experiencing a picture, ideally with an audience. But there's room for so many others now and so many other ways. There's going to be crossover completely. The value of film that's like a theme park film, for example, the Marvel-type pictures, where the theaters become amusement parks, that's a different experience. I was saying earlier it's not cinema. It's something else. Well, so now, so now we're talking about different... Um, it's definitions of what cinema is yeah. cuz but you can't blame Martin Scorsese because since he has been in the game so long he probably and I'm I'm sure Tarantino's the same way they have a certain idea of what a movie should be right and so when he cuz cuz the reason why I'm talking about this cuz you said amusement park yeah, movie that's what you know, he said. Yeah. and I could see why they would say that but like my point being is people are still <laughs> Pay money to no, but I just dis- I disagree yeah. with the whole concept fundamentally. I disagree with him. I disagree with him completely. You know, like the Marvel movies, for instance. Uh, what's his name? Robert Downey Jr. is great as Iron Man, like a fantastic actor. Like, but that's he an makes individual it- performance. No, 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 think- no. It doesn't matter. Let me finish. Yeah, he makes it believable. He makes it the 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 effort that he puts in as an actor is not like some campy bullshit. He's actually uh, put like it, it actually is like you felt you felt for him. And so just because it's not some pretentious movie about gangs. So if it's not a gang movie where people are dying and shooting up stuff, you know, then that makes it that makes it uh, that makes it real cinema. I mean, I think that that's no, like. No, see, we're talking <laughs> where he's talking about like more aesthetic I understand what you're saying. Even still. No, I know, but he's relaying to the overall. 
I understand what you're saying about Tony Stark, Iron Man, how that's such a great. He did a great, yeah. you know. He a lot did of the guys did. Studies. The guy playing like, Thor does a great. Yeah, but I know? think he's talking about like the overall appeal and vibe of it. He thinks of it as like Disneyland or like an amusement park. Well, and, how, and I don't think that's a fair just, assessment. It's, well, it's a difference. It's a difference made, of opinion he, as far as what he thinks is cinema in movies and what other people. And but 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 I see both sides because it's like well, not everyone's Martin Scorsese. Yeah, there's a family that lives in somewhere in like Dayton, Ohio. That's you know for the weekend they're gonna bring the kids to go see Avengers. Whether you like it or not, they're yeah. still going to do that, right? And so it's like, it's tough, man. It's kind of like, God, what, what would be a good analogy? Well, he's, I just feel like he's bashing like movies that are, it's tough. Um, you know, popular movies or just because it's in a series that, that, that it shouldn't have the same value. Like, he's made some shit movies, too. Uh, I, have an ex- I have an example, <laughs> you know I mean? and I agree. You know, so it's like, so what about so those so those shit movies that you didn't? But he's done some master. You know, I I don't want to. Yeah, I'll say masterpiece because with him there's some masterpieces. Yeah. But it's, it's kind shit. <laughs> it's kind of like this. I'll give. I don't know if this is a great example, but this, I'm gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna use this as an analogy. It's kind of like someone like a singer songwriter like oh like. You're, you know, like a Bob Dylan. Mm-hmm. It's like someone like Bob Dylan, like looking at today, like a K-pop or a popular like boy band or something that's popular. Right. To him, that's not music. The stuff that's on the radio, right? And what I'm saying, but is, to other people, no, that's what's no, no, no. And what know? I and I, 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 I reject your analogy. Why? No. What? Why is that? Because I'm saying the Avengers is like the Jackson Five. And one of them is Michael Jackson. Okay? So one of them is a better actor and performer th- th- than most. Like, like K-pop and, like, that's insulting to the Avengers. Like, some of those, like, the Endgame and, like, some of those movies, they're really great movies. So Scarlett Johansson is, like, Janet Jackson? No, I'm just saying, I'm just telling you that it's not... To say that that the Avengers is like K-pop is saying that they that there well, there really K- is no maybe, maybe, there really is no on, value. Hold on, hold on. In my defense, maybe <laughs> K-pop was a bad example. Yeah. But any like contemporary like 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 band that's popular on the radio, not K-pop, yeah, something but, else. But even some of these bands that are popular on the radio, it doesn't mean that they're not music. Or they're not, you know, they, and that's they don't have the discrepancy. Good, that's what yeah. Martin Scorsese is stating because going back to Bob Dylan. It's like the writing, the songwriting aspect of it is not in the same vein as the shit that everyone that for like the average family enjoys. I know, but what I'm saying is you it's not easy like, to because look at DC couldn't do it. Right like, like, right. like 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 it's not easy to do ten years of movies to lead up to this big event. It's not easy to do. It should be I think this should be valued for what it was. Look. I understand both sides, you uh-huh. know. It's like I don't want to say one is right, one is wrong, but I could see. I try to see it from both sides. Yeah. And look, I'm just whether someone says something about one thing, like rotten tomato, like whatever, because that's a critique, right? Yeah. Kind of. That's a critique of something that I want to see. Yeah, he's critiquing the genre. Gonna, I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah. I want to make my own. Cr- Critique of it. But I, I sometimes I think though when people like that critique those type of movies, yeah, they're trying to say like like don't go why is everybody spending money and going and watching that entertaining film? Come watch my boring ass three and a half hour film where look, you know people and, are getting killed. You know, you know what I mean? It's and, like and it's look, like no, it's, I see it's that's not a, as entertaining. But listen, listen, <laughs> you know what I mean? Me, at least for me. I'm going to watch both. Right. Me too. I'm going to watch all of it. Right, right. And I'll like, I think the one thing we haven't even discussed, look, it's entertainment. Right. Hey, if I want to see someone flying through the air, laser beams kind of the eyes, yeah. and I want to see crazies, I'm yeah. going to, it's entertaining, dude. In the same, in the same I'm going to watch it. What I'm saying, though, is that so, in the same way that like gangster violence is like entertaining to people, because that's his wheelhouse. You know, it's always I about know, like, like it's, you know. know what I mean? So that's also, to me, it's equivalent to superhero shit. Right. And it's kind of like in <laughs> the same I mean? vein as like, I'm sure like Stanley Kubrick would say the same shit. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. these types of directors, because they're so OG and they're so like yeah. so about their aesthetic and like I know, the. But they have to remember that they make a lot of shit movies too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's the thing I'm but, saying. But it's like is, just because you your name's on it I doesn't love, mean it's going to be good. I love movies so much. I'm still going to watch it. I dude. totally I'm agree. I'm still going to watch And I'll, I'll I'm not still saying see it's the not crappy make ones. You watch it. I, I know. It's so tough in today's I know you world. You saw The Witch. You see the crappy ones that too. That was a damn good <laughs> Dude, please don't talk down on that. That was a good That was a good movie, dude. Please don't. Uh, so you liked the uh you liked the Nolan Batmans. I I it, when I look back on them now, um, they were marred with like too much tragedy and stuff. Like the best one to me is still gonna be the first one because it reinvent it reinvented the superhero genre and that was a really brilliant origin story of Batman. I really enjoyed yeah. that. But like the second one was ruined because obviously, un- unfortunately, tragically, Heath Ledger died, yeah. and then and then they made Rest they, in peace, man. they added that a, was they added a fourth act to the movie with that whole Two Face thing. I thought all that was dumb. I just I just think that that. It ruined the movie to me, right, right, and then the right. third one was just an utter, just utter nonsense. What? Like a group of people are not going to be able to take over a city for six months. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> I know <laughs> that but was just so. Like, I, look, I couldn't suspend my disbelief. You know what I realized about you? You you go so in depth as far as you said you like to move detail. I know, <laughs> but like going back to me, like I understand why you would say that, but yeah. dude, like. Um, Tom Hardy's performance, man. I mean, what you, th- I lo- that you couldn't understand? I loved it, dude. Oh, like, I love yeah. the choices that he made in that movie. I don't know. It just it, you that, know that's what it, me of, it's, it's more made same. fun of than anything else now. I don't care. I still loved it. I yeah. like the fact that even like with the voice, the the um the voice that that yeah. choice it reminded me of Darth Vader. You know yeah. that the you know the mask. And At everything. least you can understand Darth Vader. I, well, I understood. I didn't. Just ha- fine. I'm saying I didn't hate the movie, but it, to me, it wasn't a good ending to that Batman. At least give it a B. I would. I, I would have loved that Batman. To would you continue. give it a B? You, a B? It a, yeah, uh, you'll give it a B. It was a C plus. Dude, at the end of the movie, there's a bomb that's gonna blow up all of Gotham. It says like one minute on the timer. Yeah. Batman gets in his little plane and he flies. It take. It's a four minute scene. <laughs> Yeah, but the whole point is just what it took for him to get there. He had to escape. I know, that but it pre- just it I just mean, looked it just became nonsense to yeah. me towards the end of the movie. Uh, I was like, ah, this isn't a good ending to this series. Yeah. Look, I mean, I, you know what? I actually, you know what I realized? I actually do like discussing movies with you specifically because yeah. we don't agree on anything. <laughs> That's not true. We're gonna <laughs> shut up. I mean, we we're not, a lot of I mean, things as I mean, we disagree but, right now. Well, we're, we we disagree, I disagree that we don't but we disagree. disagree with every single movie we've talked about thus far. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not true. Yeah. Um, did you? What did you think of like this new? Like, what did you think of Ben Affleck as Batman? I have to really maybe I have to think about that. Oh, I you know what? I cuz I cuz I, I do, I wasn't I do mad like at him. It. I do like him. I wasn't mad at it. But I haven't see that's one I haven't seen in decades. I haven't seen that in so, decades. It hasn't been out in that long. Well, I haven't seen it in years, sorry. I well, haven't seen it in many many, many 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 years. The one that was Batman versus Superman, that movie, it wasn't a very good movie. I haven't I haven't even watched that. Oh, you got to watch that. I haven't even watched that. I would yeah. say watch it for the simple fact that um, there's a great Batman fight scene in that movie. You ever played a video game? Dude. The Arkham Knight or B- Batman? The, one of the ones I was addicted to. That's it's so the good. one where there was a side thing, uh, the Riddler. Yeah, yeah, where you yeah, had yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I spent okay, check this hours out. looking for the Riddler, okay, okay. like the riddles okay, and stuff. check me, check me. Listen. Dude. But listen, I'm glad you brought that up. I know, but listen. Are we going into video games no, now? No, but we can if you want. I, I kind of do. Steve, focus. Okay. <laughs> the uh in this movie he has a batman fight that is like the video game okay like he uses the disruptor he uses the boomerang he uses the grappling hook mm-hmm. it's just like it th- that fight was like the, to me the most spectacular batman you should look it up on youtube man. yeah 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 the most spectacular batman fight look i, I like i said that 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 one particular i think it was arkham Asylum. i don't know what the name of it was but i spent Hour. I I spent you know how we played you know game. how I play you know how we play hours of destiny <laughs> yeah um I played hours of that I, game too. I was up all night doing what those I loved riddles. about that game it was a so open world like you could be working on one mission and then like yeah it goes oh there's this other mission and I never actually I never finished the game what 
Like I never got every single Riddler. Yeah, yeah, dude. You know, I think I did ninety percent of those. Oh, and then they had those new. Uh, what do you call it? Like those extra DLCs. I think they came out with another I, one. I don't think I got into that. Oh yeah, they had yeah. some new missions because like you can't just have a spectacular game like that right. and then just end it. Dude, can I be honest with you? My mind is starting to wander for this. I don't know. My mind is. <laughs> I'm starting to space out right now. I just wanted to be honest. I don't know how much longer. <laughs> I'm like I literally. Well, then that's the end no, of the no, podcast, no, everybody. Steve, not, no, my, no, my Steve's mind, my, Steve's my mind, mind is wandering. I, I'm spacing out. Well, right what, now. what are you thinking about right now, Steve? Because we'll end with that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just. It's just like maybe it's because I'm hungry. Or something. All right, I got to get Steve some food, guys. No, 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 no. no. I want to talk. Let's do. Let's try to do twenty more minutes. No, we got no. Steve, please. You can't. No, 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 you no, can't no. be like. Imagine you're having sex with your girl. Okay. <laughs> And like, this is a horrible example you're about to state <laughs> right now, but continue. Let's say you're, That's you're, a horrible example. You're having sex, right? And then, like, in the middle of it, she goes, ah, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of spacing out right now. And then you this go. This is not. You, wait, you're wait, comparing wait. this to sex. Yeah, and then you go. That's an unfair And then you analogy. go like, no, no, yeah, no, That's it's not. That's completely unfair. And then you go that like this. That is not good. And then you go, good and example. then you go, oh, okay, my bad. And then she goes, no, it's okay. We can go 20 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what, what I'm saying is, would you want to continue that after the 20 minutes? Yeah, you probably would. I want to talk about. Tell us the, what you want to talk the about remaining, to, to end this. For the remaining 20 minutes. Okay. I want to talk about, because we both have channels. Oh, we're still on this? <laughs> Did we talk about this last We time? always talk about this, Steve. But tell me. Let's no. see. Where are we now since we last talked about our channels? How are you doing? Okay, well, as far as what you got to ask more specific questions. Well, as what, far as like subscribers, content. Well, how are you feeling? Time about, invested. How are you feeling? Sponsorships. What do you want to talk about? How are you feeling about your channel to this point? You want the on, honest answer? No, lie to us. Of course, I want the honest answer. <laughs> you, you know what I realized? What? I don't think we'll ever be happy. <laughs> So and you're that's not, my honest You're answer. not happy doing Stevie Weezy? Yeah, because what I realized, because, you know, I don't like to compare, uh-huh. but I compare. To who? To every, name, whatever popular YouTube channels out oh. there. Because I like to look at, other, like, what are they doing? What, I'm, what am I not doing? What yeah. makes their things successful? Right. What am I lacking? What choices do I need to make in order for me to get more subscribers, right. more, more, like, eyeballs on my videos? Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I realized I just can't. It's hard to wrap my head around it. I right. just because so you're I'm, not having fun doing it. I think I'm getting burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting burnt out. You're just burnt out on podcasting. Not only that, no, because it doesn't even. That's just one aspect of it. We talked about this in the car. Yeah, you're doing solo episodes. You're yeah. doing. You know, other you're doing Q and A. Yeah, I got my game. Yeah, you know, like, you're whatever. doing different things. Yeah, you're doing different things. You I got know. the man on the street. I you know, got the boxing thing. I the, know, the, but unbo- the uh, unboxing and all that. And le- we opened up booty wipes on my podcast. <laughs> but I just realized we have to, because if we're if we're resting on our laurels and like this is all we did, right? Right. Let's say every week what you did. Well, I did. We we interview a, do, a person, a man or a woman, at least one hour, and that's it. And then you do your comedy sets. I go writing in my right. notebook, doing right. my other things, whatever it may be. We can't survive. <laughs> you don't think so? Yeah, I'm. I, you know what I re- no. <laughs> it's and then I'm gonna. This is this is great. We're talking about this because I'll tell you. I'll be honest. You you like Stevie on the street, right? Yeah. If if it wasn't for Stevie on the street, which are check that out on my YouTube channel. It's me doing um street interviews. That helps my other views. Yeah. I notice that when I upload that. Okay, let's say I upload. When do you upload? Mondays, but I do the audio on Saturday. Okay, I I do Wednesday audio Friday. So when you when I upload. My regular, just this yeah. interview, the guest. I notice that when I upload the other content, like uh-huh. Stevie on the street, it picks up slack for the thing that I, the interview I did on Wednesday. Yeah, but you're still doing those weird interviews, though. What do you mean? You know, like, in the, the you know, you find somebody from the back of a hip hop club that just was stumbled no, out. These, what are you talking <laughs> about, man? People 
know who these people are. They're underground. You're at the skateboard and, park hey, and you're like, you know what? hey, bro, you want to be on my podcast? <laughs> no, no, come on. You got to give them a little bit I'm more teasing. credit. I'm teasing you. I know, you. I know. But, but you know, since I'm so self-critical and uh-huh. I analyze stuff too much, maybe I, I, I want to get the... The people on TV or the huge guests, but they they don't they don't read my messages. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, there's only so much reach that I could do because I've tried to reach out to like who who the, hasn't gotten the back to you? The the <laughs> N- Natalie Portmans, the the Becks, the you really think Natalie Portman is going to come I'm to just your getting, little? No, she's not going to come over. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, like that would be fair. Just I just want to see sorry. Natalie Portman walk <laughs> through that jungle to the back of that like you know, death trap. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. You never know. Okay, my it main. This is the main point. Before I lose my main point, uh-huh. there's only so much reach that I have. Right now, if there was some kind of podcast agency, like the same way you guys have agents for your theatrical. Oh, I get what you're saying. If there was some. This and this would be great if there was an agency where I didn't have to worry about guests, and it was their job to find the talent. Yeah, you'd be having a great time. Yeah, but Steve, you know you, can, you mean, know you can hit a publicist. You know you get a publicist company. You go like, hi, I run this podcast. I have this many people. I'd love your client. That, no, no, no. That no. takes money. No, it doesn't. You not listen. You never listen. That's your problem. I'm listening right now. I say you hit up the publicist to go if you want your clients to come on my podcast. You know, not yeah. you get a publicist. Well, I continue. Then what? What's then? They're gonna be like. Then they're gonna funnel their get their their clients to your podcast. But won't because I don't know. That's great. We're talking about this because I don't really know how that world works. Yeah, I don't know. I know what a publicist does, but yeah. what I'm trying to say is, I thought that in order for them to do that, they're gonna be like, well, you know, their daily fee is fifteen hundred dollars. No, blah, blah, what are you blah, talking blah, about, blah, 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 blah. dude? Publicists are the ones that so hit, I don't know this stuff. Publicists are the ones that hit you up and go, "Hey, my client would like to come on your podcast." Do you do that? Yeah, pu- no. Publicists hit me up all the time, like, "Hey, my like that's how I got uh, like three guests on because of their you publicists." You seem to figure out you've been on television shows. Yeah, I'm on not on the same tier as you, my it, friend. No, it, Steve, you have more subscribers you know, than I do. You're missing the point. Okay, you're Montel. You go on the. You didn't even say the name right. <laughs> Montel. It's it's Montez. You know what I mean. You're Montez. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. You're Montez. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're Montez. People know. That was more you, than that. Jesus. You've been on te- My point, you've been on television. You no, know, it's about the podcast reach, man. It doesn't matter who you are. No, you're missing the point. The reason why publicists are contacting you is because of who you are. They're not going to contact Listen, me. Listen, I'm sure that that's part of it. And that's what I'm saying to you. You reach out to the publicist and go, yo, here's my, uh, you know, I, this is, I have this many numbers. I'd love to get some of your clients on. Okay, so after when we go eat. Cause we'll we talk are, about uh, it. Let's, no, let's, no, no, let's no, stop no. talking about this. No, no, I loved it. Oh. This might help someone, too. <laughs> this, this is exactly what we should talk about because there's someone out here that's like, <laughs> that's wait trying a minute. To do a podcast? Like, they're talking about a publicist. I'm, they're like <laughs> somewhere in like Michigan to wanting to start a podcast. Yeah. And th- this will be. Good, good information. Well, I guess so. So, but even even I agencies, need those contact, like, even if like if you know like a, there's I, a particular actor you want, you're not gonna hit up Natalie Portman. You're gonna try to hit up Natalie Portman's manager or agent and be like, hey. And that's my question. How do you find this? Like, she's IMDb to shit. All right, you're right. You know, there might be so someone, you do you do research. MF Doom might be able to come on your podcast if you just reach out. I've messaged him. Not him. You, this times. motherfucker never listens. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, okay. I'll find out who's Maybe his record is, label is. Manager. Yeah. He'll fly from London to Los Angeles. He I'll- might be in LA. If you look at his schedule and he's in LA, you go, listen, I hear you're All coming right. to LA. You're right. Let me get you on my podcast. I'm okay. a huge fan. Right. You so- never know, Steve. Okay, okay. You know? So we're going to put this out in the universe. Yeah, we're putting it out there. That we're, we're both Steve and I are still trying to improve our podcast. We're going to keep coming together, talking about movies. We're going to go start watching movies together so we can come on and just get you guys caught up on how we feel about movies. But overall, we both enjoyed The Joker. You said we don't agree, and we both loved The Joker. Oh, it was a masterpiece. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're yeah. trying to skip topics now. I'm not skipping no, topics. No, because I wanted to stay on this content topic. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I just what am real- I doing? I realize I just caught you in the app. <laughs> I just cut your hand in the cookie jar. I know what you're doing. We're still talking about this content stuff because this is what I want to talk about. 
<laughs> I know what you're doing right now. Yeah, I just but, now, you. but now I'm fading. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable! What you're can doing. I fade on my no, own no, podcast? No, 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 I'm no, hungry is, too. No, this is your platform. This is your platform, and we're gonna we're gonna finish talking about yeah, this. Wait, you did, yeah. I want an answer, an honest answer from you. Okay. Do you enjoy doing all of this stuff? Um, Do you? Does it bring you happiness? Can I give you an analogy? This is like doing stand up. Okay. So I like get. I like when I'm there and I'm on stage and I'm interacting with the crowd. The stuff I don't like, travel, packing, doing morning press, uh, you know, those things I hate. Going to the airport, going through the security. Those are all those things. The things you don't like are those things you're talking about. It's like editing, scheduling guests, uh, you know, f- working all that shit out, all the time that's, that's needed to, like, edit and all that, right? That's the fucked up part. But you know what the fun part is? Sitting with my boy Stevie Weeby and just talking about stuff. Right, right, you know, getting right. getting like the positive feedback from the fans. You know, when people are like, you know, you know, they're clamoring for like, hey, when's another episode coming out? Or, or I really enjoyed what you said. Anytime you get any kind of positive affirmation from from the fans, you know, it's just like you go, oh, this is why I'm doing it. Uh, you know what? I so it does bring me some happiness. I can't. I'm, I just I have it all. Disagree with you. I just have it all compartmentalized in my head. You know what I mean? How do you do that? It's just something I've I had have to do. I have a problem with that. Yeah, you do. You, you, you lump everything in the same not soup. Not only that is... Not, <laughs> you son of a gun. Not only that is... I have a problem with st- staying in the results. Like like when when like when an episode's not doing good numbers... Right. Like I wallow in that. And I'm like, oh, you know, like... It, may, it like ruins my day. I'm like, oh, well, what am I doing wrong? Or why are more people watching this? Well, I think you should have an overall picture of like... You're just putting out content weekly. Some people are gonna it's gonna resonate with some people sometimes and it's not other times. And you just keep doing it. You're not gonna stop. Like it's not like we're not doing this because okay, if I don't get this many views, I'm gonna quit. And that's not why we're doing it. There's no way. There's growth. You know what I mean? Like for, I'm only on this is gonna be episode like fifty three. That's a lot though. Yeah, dude. but you're on episode you're in the hundreds. No, well you're not too far behind. I'm a hundred and twenty Okay, well I am mean, far behind. And if you keep doing it, I'm always going to be that far behind you. <laughs> so, how many? When are you going to be happy when you have eight million subscribers? Like, when? When is? When are you going to? I be agree satisfied? with you that there is an element of being in an entertainment business that you're never happy. So, what I'm trying to say to you is, let's just enjoy the ride. That's why we're coming together. That's why we do this together because this is more fun. You're right. Than having some dude that we don't even know. So that's why I like to do this more often. I want to have you on, and we just keep doing this, and we're just gonna enjoy the ride. So that's why we're gonna come. We're gonna bring the content to the fans that they want to hear from us. They love us talking about movies, so we'll continue to talk about movies and video games. Are you still open for me and you, and possibly Bob, to do our thing? Yeah, yeah, but when's the last time you talked to your brother? I can't. I, it's been a while. Okay. I can't, I can't get a hold of him. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's no, crazy. No, 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 no. I did talk to him a few weeks ago. When I, he, I wanted when him UFC. to come today. I've been trying to hit him up for a week about coming today, and he wouldn't get back to me. So I'm I'm over it. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just completely over it. You know what I mean? I can get your mom before I can get. <laughs> yeah, you know? She was great on the you podcast. You need to really sit down with Bob. I've done it so many times. No, I'm just no, sick no, of doing no. But no, you I'm need. I'm sick to, of no, doing no, it. No, no, no. You need to sit down with Bob, and be calm, and maybe write in a notepad. You're choke what, him out. Like, <laughs> what bothers you? Talk to him, and this is what you need to do. Yeah, because I know I know my brother better than things. anyone. Uh huh. Make sure he doesn't have his iPad or his phone. Well, see, that because when you're talking to him, he he likes playing that game. Yeah, he it's likes, always very yeah, he's yeah. rude. So you're saying he's rude. No, he's just distracted with 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 things like so he's with, rude. With, with gadgets. And so stuff. I have to tie him to a chair and make him listen. You need his attention. Yeah, <laughs> I tried. Okay. Or you need to do this. You are you going to the comedy store tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna see him tonight. Oh, he's gonna okay, get this told is what tonight. You need, okay, this is what you need to do. When what time's your set? At ten. What time's his set? I don't know, but he'll be there tonight. I'll see him. When you see him, don't. It's all in the approach. Mm-hmm. Don't go, hey man. Like, don't don't do any of that. I've go, tried millions. Be of nice. Things with him. Just be like, hey, good seeing you, Bob. No, it's not gonna work with him. What do you mean? You, you think you you can't? Well, this other way is not working. You getting mad is not gonna change. Well, hey, change you know what? Uh, you this guy, 
after every approach I've tried, he's got me to the point where I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna try anything. Have you tried? Have you cried? Oh my god, that's gonna work with him. It might. <laughs> it might work. This is like this. Look, look, look. We have to handle him. I just no, want him to well, be considerate. You, Can he be a considerate friend? That's all I'm fucking asking for. It's the approach, though. He, he approach. Because c- c- listen, I'm sure he's done that to other of your the c- comedian friends. Yeah, we're like, hey man, I've tried. Problem. You don't answer my call. Like he's heard that. Yeah. See, he's so used to. It. I know. It's the Pavlov. He, he's so used to that that no, his he thinks it's a, he response thinks that is like, going to be the same. He hey thinks, man, I know, know man. man. I've been busy. Man. You know. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you have to try something different. My head is too big for my body. <laughs> it's almost like you might have to do like a form of shock therapy. I know. Do you know what I'm saying? Where you well, shock him? It's and gonna go, be a punch to the gut. Is what no, no, be. no! Don't, don't! Please, don't punch him. <laughs> but if you like shock him, like with a stick, yeah. you know, he's like, oh. So I should bring a taser to the comedy store. I don't know. <laughs> no, don't tase him. But I don't know. It has to be <laughs> the idea of like a tasing or shock therapy where you don't actually do it. All right. Well, well, you know what? And it has to be in a verbal way. I will, you know what? We'll, we'll, on the next time we talk, I'll keep you uh, up to date about what happened. Yeah. What happened with this? No, look, can you I see I my SpaceX I, hat? Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you need to do a commercial for that? No, no, no. It's just okay. the guy Dylan Dickstein. That you guys need to go watch that episode. Dylan okay. Dickstein. He's a funny. He he went. He worked at SpaceX. He worked at NASA. He wants to go to Mars. I'm gonna do it. I had a great episode with can that I guy. Well, I mean, it's oh, my I hat. Gonna, I, I don't. I don't know what kind of. I, I shampoo. Okay. My sh- mine's clean. I don't want any kind of flu. No, there's no flu. <laughs> it's all. And then we got clean. our booty wipes, and then I yeah, got like all wipes. kinds of great stuff. Are you? Here. Did this we have a good? This, did, me. this was fun. Yeah. Well, no. Listen, Steve. I always love talking to you. We always have a good time. We're just both hungry, uh, frustrated. But what do you want to? What do you want to go eat? We'll go. I think there's this Korean barbecue place. I think you'll what's like. It, hold up. What, I don't know what the what's name it, of it's called, called, Steve. I don't know the is name it, of is it. Is it all you can eat? I don't, it's one of those places where you get to meet. You know what I mean? It's like nineteen dollars a person. It's right down the street. Oh, that's a good price. I know. It's on you today. Um, I got. I got. Well, I go. I will. But I, let me go to the ATM. I'm only teasing you. This is Stevie Weeby, Everybody. Um, again. Oh, can I to start, recap? Can I start plugging? In a second. <laughs> to recap, we both like the Joker. Uh, we were going to talk about more Batman stuff, but he hasn't seen it that often. We talked about, uh, you know, what are we going to do with our podcast and what we're going to do moving forward. We're going to go watch that Lighthouse movie, and we're going to talk about that. Um, and I'll still attempt to get Bobby to come on, but that motherfucker's hard to track down. Uh, and we're going to keep doing that. And then you can find Steve on his channel. I'll have all of his information below as usual. But go ahead, Steve. All right. So my uh, if you haven't checked out my podcast, go to www.youtube.com slash Weeby, all with double E's. I have a website now called StevieWeebyShow.com. www. Steve, you don't have to Stevie say the www. Okay, sorry. <laughs> StevieWeebyShow.com. My Instagram's uh, Instagram slash Q U A N G O U. Okay, all this information will be below. Um, hold up, I'm still gonna say it. <laughs> and then I have a Bandcamp, StevieWeeby. Oh, really? Bandcamp.com. I'm work. Can I can I plug? Uh, I'm working. Just do you do your thing? I'm working. Um, on a a new album it's called um, oh really it's it's because my you know my our father just my dad just passed right so i wrote it i already i did one song and i i figured i oh that's i'm nice. gonna make a project like surrounding him oh wow because it's helping me as far as therapeutically mm. how are you doing um, since then i haven't even talked i haven't really talked to you since you know then. what how about next time uh, we'll just next time i come that. let's 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 get like talk about it uh, we will um, but yeah, so that I'm working on a project about that. I don't know when it's gonna be on my Bandcamp, but StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. Dude, I'm still waiting. I'll do whatever you want with you, man. Like, I'll if you want to do a podcast. How about we? We'll talk. We'll talk at dinner. Yeah, we're gonna talk at dinner. Then we, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, I love you, man. We'll report, how much love? You know how much I know. love I we're got gonna for report you, man. back to you guys. But you know how? You know, I, you know how much love? Another one? How many you know how much, are we doing? I got so much love for you, dude. Is it like are we like, like the Wonder brother. Twins? You're like my brother. Yeah, I know. You're like, but I get back to you. The eldest <laughs> brother. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, this has been Riffin with Griffin. This is my boy Steve, mm-hmm. Stephen Lee. You can Stephen find all Lee, his information below. AKA Stevie Weeby. AKA Stevie Weeby. AKA Kwong Woo, my Korean name. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. I never knew that. You didn't know that? Uh-uh. E Kwong Woo. Kwong Woo. Kwong Woo. Kwong Woo. <laughs> Why you know what, you know what well, I love? No, you know, I, 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 t- I take offense to what you just did. I know. Let's say, like, <laughs> that's my Korean name. And you're I know. La- why are you laughing Because I'm going to tell you why. 
Unbelievable. Koreans are so funny that they know their names are so ridiculous that they give themselves American names. <laughs> Blame it on my folks. There's, There's a, so many Koreans I know that they, they have so, this name. They go, oh, so this they're is gonna, so ridiculous. So when I'm when I call me Steve. when I grew up in the American <laughs> school system, they're gonna be like, um, Chad, um, Acres, um, Lee Kuan Yoo. Yeah. No Maybe, one's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be John, Stephen, Bob, Kwa, Kuyu. <laughs> You keep that up. Cool. Well, what? They just like you. Just like Steven. Just call me Steven. There you go. All right. Well, Steven Kwan yeah. Yu. Did we at least make an hour? I want to make sure you got an hour. Steve, I think we got more than an hour. Okay. How do I know it's an hour? It's more than an I hour. I want to make sure you got an it hour. Is. We got I want to give you at least Steve, an hour. I, I know it's so real. you can monetize and do what you need to do. <laughs> is it an hour? Yes. Love you guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks see, for tuning in. See you next week.